this the energy vibration basin for the Aquarian Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energies um, it is the week from Valentine's and I want to say happy Valentine's to everyone out there okay we are trying to find the energies in this week and I want to say to each and every person thank you for your support your likes and shares okay um, this week is the week of water you are a, a fire sign so and the zodiac energy is going to be here um, this week begins from the 12 until the 18 we have on Wednesday Valentine's Day so this is a wonderful week for love so uh, let's go in because we have the energy of the moon it's uh, not a viable energy for you guys so let's see what is happening for you Aquarians on Monday you have the energy of the Empress this is wonderful your materialistic world a money is going to be coming in to you be careful fertility um, you could get pregnant on this day because the energy of this earth energy is fertility nurturing um, so if you do not want to get pregnant be careful on this day but it's all about your materialistic needs it's all about um, things are falling into place good things are coming to you this is going to be extremely extremely wonderful okay on Monday it's going to be the energy of a hurt balancing out situation on Tuesday you have the energy of transition um, this is the energy of transition this is the energy of changing so your materialistic world is going to be changing on Tuesday which is um, extremely good this is another major or comet that is coming up what this major arcana is doing is coming in to remove that which no longer serve you and to place something which is much better for you in your life on Wednesday happy Valentine's Day you have the energy of the king of cups this is a wonderful positive energy so a lot of people who are connected with water sign people this is going to be a powerful powerful Valentine's because what is going to happen is that these water sign people and these are uh, the men over the age of 40 and um, they are going to be really connecting with you in a powerful loving powerful way and um, especially for the people who are having relationship with a Pisces cancer and scorpion it's going to be a very very powerful Valentine so open up for that energy Tuesday you have the three of swords in reverse which is very good so um, right after Valentine's Day you have the three of swords in reverse so this is going to be positive um, for a lot of people maybe you have ended a relationship with someone who is a water sign and you're feeling that you have done the right you have made the right decision and this is going to be good as we move forward we have the energy on Friday of um, uh, the three of cups you're celebrating um, you know hand in this relationship for whatever reason and this is going to be very good because um, you're leaving something behind which no longer serve you and you are moving forward to something that is much better and much more satisfactory um, to you and this is good because what I'm feeling is that um, um, a lot of you are deciding on walking away and leaving stuff and you know you're celebrating because this is what you really want this is how you have seen things going on you have the energy of five of ones conflicts and this conflicts could be coming in um, um, from these water signs which these Pisces and Kansas and scorpion um, these conflicts could be coming in from these people because um, you know some people do not like when um, they someone has ended a situation they want to have their last word in and this is going to be what is going to be happening okay this is what is going to be happening and um, you can always listen you can choose to listen or choose not to listen it's up to you on Sunday you have the energy of um, the Queen of Wands in reverse and this is um, a situation where this is yourself so be aware of what is happening some of you ladies are going to be coming out of ending relationships in your life for whatever reason and uh, you know feeling a little out of it on Sunday but it's going to be okay um, whatever that has transpired some people are going to be feeling left out in the cold because 
um, it was Valentine's and you ended a relationship and or someone in the relationship with you and you were feeling as if you know you're a little bit in the unbalance this could affect some of the men as well as the women okay so um, that is another situation that is going to be happening wonderful wonderful news is going to be coming in um, for a lot of you guys um, you're going to receive help so if you were looking for help in um, various ways of your life this um, week is the energy of the six of Pentacles for you guys so this is the energy that is helping most of you guys in this week and it's going to be a wonderful positive energy that is coming in so um, the number six seems to be here because you also have the energy of the six of ones and um, you know where a lot of people are going to be victorious over a lot of situations so if it was the ending of a relationships or the, the ending of a friendship with a water sign person you know it's going to be help will be coming in you know to help you to deal with the situation and move forward and the six of ones is going to be um, a very very positive positive situation that is coming in so this is going to be good let's look at your first half of the week because it's going to be um, the first half of your week it's going to be a very very um a celebrative form for a lot of people some people will be celebrating um, new experience um, which it could be that your materialistic needs are being met and this can be that some people receive extra work and they're happy with this they're celebrating this and there is going to be a transformation in your material world where you are going to be feeling much balance a lot of balance is going to come in because you're a fire sign and uh, you know you're vibrating in the week of water and hair and this for you having these strong energy with the energy of the heart on Monday and on Tuesday the energy of uh, the transformation which is a water sign hurt and water is really nourishing you because there is going to be good emotions in the first half of the week and here we have the nine of Pentacles so as I've said your financial situation the Empress is going to bring balance to your financial situation in your financial world and this is why there is a celebration so a lot of people will be um, receiving um, extra money extra help money is going to be coming into you guys this is tax spirits for some people and um, extra money will be coming in so the nine of Pentacles is your financial balance is going to be good so first half of the week is going to be a wonderful wonderful energy second middle of the week um, you have the energy of the princess of cups um, some of you are going to be having a situation with um, maybe this is your child your daughter and that is um, between the ages of 0 to um, 25 some of you will be um, you know maybe connecting with your daughter or a good friend or that sort of a thing it is a Valentine's in this week so this is good um, whoever this person is um, is very positive because if there was a conflict with this person it's it's going to be starting to clear up some of you will have conflicts with this person so um, this is someone who is a zero uh, to 25 and this person is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion so there will be um, some situation for the people who um, um, this child is your um, this is your child and the father is um, also a water sign there is going to be a transformation because I'm seeing conflicts coming up with you and this situation so it's as if uh, um, this is your child but there's a separation with you and the child father and um, whoever this um, person is because it, it has the energy of a man or a woman um, there is going to be an healing a transformation and the healing to the situation okay so um, not to worry in the middle of the week it, can, it doesn't have to be your daughter it could be someone at your work um, that you are working with it could be someone at um, school that you have the situation is and their father is a water sign also their father is a Pisces cancer or scorpion so um, 
um, this could affect you in um, many many different ways in your life but it depends but there is going to be a conflict between you and this young energy as we look at the last of the week um, you have the energy of the seven of Pentacles I'm not sure there is obviously something that is going on in this week because seven of Pentacles is always coming up like for um, the readings that I've done before the seven of Pentacles is coming up so um, this is actually good because um, you know in the middle the beginning of the week you have the energy of the nine of Pentacles um, this is more for the energy of love for you guys so because you have the three of hearts so for the people over the age of 40 there is an ending that is transpiring between you and someone who is of an water sign a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion there is endings it's as if some of you have decided to divorce or to end a relationship because this is where all the reverse energies are you um, most of the people over the age of 40 there is a reverse energy and you know the art break is over because the the tree of swords is in the reverse form so what is transpiring is that this is more of thing, something the seven of Pentacles is, is more about the love is more about you moving on you have picked up um, the pieces and you're moving on to something which is going to be much much better in your life so last half of the week is, is, is all about the people who have decided to end relationships and move forward with something better let's see what the Empress and the transition is doing the Empress and the transition is removing um, lies and um, defeat this is more of lies being coming out okay because in this way people stab you that means they told a lies they told lies they were you know working against you and in this way it is all over because this is good this is all about information communication and this is something that has been going on and now it has finally come to an end okay so um, whatever that was that was transpiring it has finally come to an end um, this transition period is coming in because the energy of the debt is here to make this transition happen so the ten of swords the lies and everything that people were saying has now fallen away you have the energy of the five of cups the five of cups is just that um, some of you had a relationship with water sign people with the Pisces cancer or scorpion and you're having some regrets of um, you're having regrets of what has transpired between you and this person and what I'm feeling is that you have decided to end this relationship and to move away this, with this relationship um, this person could be having a lot of regrets this person is having a lot of regrets about you letting go and moving on this person is really having this regret because um, they are being hurt because you can see that this person actually um, reach out to you and, and um, you have decided not to connect with this person um, because you decided to leave this behind this person is feeling a hurt the hurt is not from you this uh, this person is feeling very much hurt about what has transpired that you have left and move on not to worry the energy is um, you and this person have had a relationship in lifetime and lifetime before this is a karmatic relationship that has came back for you guys to work out stuff um, you're not being hurt about this situation but the other person is being hurt about the situation because the other person feel heartbroken and the other person feel regrets and this is a situation that has happened uh, in lifetime and lifetime before in this lifetime you have chosen not to go any further with this relationship and hand it in um, whatever way or whatever that was transpiring so um, what you're really going to have is that emotion your emotions um, is as if you have decided I am not doing this anymore I don't want to be in this relationship I don't want to do this relationship anymore 
uh, for whatever reason you have chosen not to go forward with this relationship um, the other person is feeling is having regrets and feeling very hurt it's a past life situation that has come back to, to play out the Queen of Pentacles comes up so um, the Queen of Pentacles comes up so um, what I'm receiving is that um, whoever your partner is um, and I'm getting for some people um, cancer is coming up just popping out cancers um, if you were having a relationship with a cancer or that sort of a thing um, it's as if you found out that this person was in love with um, the Queen of Pentacles um, the Queen of Pentacles can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so it's as if you realize that this this person was in love with this woman and this is why um, you're not feeling heartbreak because you're seeing that this person is being miserably <laughs> in love because um, you realize that this person um, was in love with someone else and whatever has transpired between this person and 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 this woman your partner and this woman um, there is obviously a, a situation that's taking place because it's as if you realize that your partner was in love with this woman that this woman is and was his world and there is you're celebrating the ending of this okay do not get involved with this woman because um, if you try because this is this is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and you are a fire person and no matter how fire you fiery you are do not contact this woman do not man woman or man because it can vibrate this week is a week of the masculine and feminine so it can vibrate for both do not contact this person who is an earth sign person because they will land you in things that you don't want because these people have uh, you know um, we all thought that the air people but these people can exactly um, you know um, give you and read you a psalms that you're not really gonna like so um, if you try to contact this person or try in any way and form um, to you know contact this person you are going to realize that this person is going to tell you the reason why your husband or your partner was seeing them and you're not going to really like this so it is best to leave this person um, do not um, you know try to um, win the game of uh, um, you know um, yeah and my husband and you were with my don't do that don't do that because this person is going to tell you things that is going to hurt you so leave this woman or this man who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn have a celebration do whatever you want but do not contact this lady or this man because they are going to tell you um, things that is going to hurt you. Leave this person alone, okay? I'm warning you because I know the Capricorns and the Taurus and the Virgos, there are people like this. If they leave a relationship or if they're having something in um, with someone, and you are going to contact them they're going to tell you the, exactly the reason why this person doesn't want to be with you you're going to see yourself they like to show people who they are characteristic they don't talk that much but whenever they open their mouth trust me you are going to um, feel bad that you even had started okay there's going to be a conflict there's going to be a conflict with you and um, someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorns because you're having the king and queen of Pentacles coming up here so um, they, they're showing up in your reading so you're going to have a conflicts with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn all of you um, the women who have a situation that you found out that your husband was in love with this um, person who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this woman um, you're going to also have a situation that you have to deal with there's going to be a lot of conflicts a lot of conflicts is coming up so as I said you know you guys are fiery but now is not the time do not contact these 
earth sign people because they will tell you the truth of your story and you're not going to really like it okay your week is the week where um, help is going to come in information is going to come to you help is going to be coming in um, this help is going to be good it's all about some of you are going to realize um, your financial situation is going to be balanced out if you have bills to pay and that sort of a thing is going to be happening um, whatever lies that was told is going to be coming out um, you're going to receive message you're going to receive help information is going to be coming at you for the people who um, realize that their partners or so was having an affair leave it because if you try to contact the other person they are going to tell you and read you your story and you're gonna wish you didn't do that okay because these people are not these earth sign people are not especially when it comes on to relationship they are not people who they're very private with their relationship and if they have an affair with someone or something like that and you as the wife or husband is you know wants to attack them they're going to put you in your place they're going to tell you the truth you guys are fiery but when they these earth sign people tell you the truth it's going to hurt and it's going to hurt very deep it's better to leave whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring it's better to leave it alone because um, the universe have a way to work out things because you should understand if you're in a relationship if you're married or if you're in a relationship and your partner goes um, to someone else and connect with someone else that means that they're missing something in your relationship these earth sign people knows when they are seeing someone knows the reason why they're seeing the person and see what is transpiring in that person life so I would advise you it is best to leave these people alone because they will read you your psalms and it's not going to be a nice one and you're going to just think that people are very very harsh but it is better not to have contact with these people because they are going to tell you the truth about your relationship and you're not going to really like that okay A lot of you are going to be having relationships or communication conflicts with the earth sign people a lot of you are going to have a lot of conflicts with the earth sign people which is kind of weird in this week because um, you would expect that you and the earth sign people are you know balancing out certain things money your materialistic world is going to change money is going to come in to you <clears throat> um, information um, is going to come in help is going to come in whatever the situation is or was um, some of you are going to have situation and this is what is happening and and this is a story uh, this is something um, this is information that I just re received and this information is that you are going to find out that your partner who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion was having a relationship with the princess the princess because she is in the center of your reading and this is really a love reading for Valentine's um, some of you are going to find out that um, this little young person this is the um, queen this is the princess of, of, of water and the princess um, she is um, Pisces cancer or scorpion you're going to find out something about this young lady and then from finding out about this young lady you're going to find out that your partner has been with this young lady and that your partner also was seeing um, someone who is older over the age of 40 and that's a Capricorn um, a Taurus or a Virgo so whatever that has transpired whatever that has happened you are going to find out something about your partner you are going to realize that your partner has been playing the field and some of you have been closing your eyes to the situation and now finally there is something that happened that you can
came and realized that your partner is having a relationship with this princess of um, cups and this princess of cups is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion your partner is also a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and you're going to realize that he was having a relationship with this person and this is the regret that is coming in because you're going to be having conflicts and this is what I'm saying you're going to be having conflicts with this princess of, of, of cups and somehow she is going to tell you about the queen of pentacles and this queen of pentacles you don't try and contact her because she is going to read you a psalms that you're not really going to like so I'm advising you guys because your partner has not been honest and not been fair to you and this is what is transpiring because you're not feeling heartbroken for some reason you're not feeling heartbroken you're gonna be victorious over this situation because somehow um, he's regretting a situation that has to do with the princess of cups so he's regretting the situation I think his love lies by the Queen of Pentacles which is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and this I think this lady or this because it's a lady she is she she has walked away she has left him behind and somehow you are going to find out that he has been seeing someone else because the princess of cups is the center of your reading and you're going to find out that um, he has been seeing someone else and somehow you're going to realize that um, there was also someone else there was also a woman and you are going to think oh my god what the hell is going on here do not contact this um, Queen of Pentacles because she's going to read you your songs because you don't know who um, these Taurus Virgo and Capricorn women are they don't really say much but when they open their mouth so whoever and whatever is happening out there love is the most powerful thing if you don't love this man get rid of him because obviously if he cheats on you once he's always going to cheat on you okay a cheater is always a cheater um, and let's see what frequency comes up for you soul time number 40 is soul time the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibilities of a new reality to emerge one that embrace the concept that while the corporate body is uh, um, moral the soul is timeless limitless and infinity so um, for most of you people um, out there you're gonna use this week to find soul time to find yourself you're coming in this week trying to find yourself you're coming in this week and with the soul time you are going to be connecting with your soul your soul always give you information to certain things and sometimes we're so busy we're not listening we're not seeing things and this is going to give you information please um, connect with this energy because it's going to activate the soul time especially come back to this video and connect to this because it's going to activate your soul time by activating your soul time what is going to transpire is that you are going to receive information coming to you and some of you who are having relationship with the water sign people is going to be um, a month a week of information coming out about these water sign people who you thought they were is they're not um, this is a player whether this person is he is a player he has been playing you but I guess you have been playing yourself because you only attract to what your you are and who you are and what you give out so let's see what is going on and this message that is coming up is from myself for you guys for Valentine I love this card it came up also for someone else and it says my energy creates my reality what I focus on is what I will manifest okay um, this this Valentine's this is so good because I'm using the universe as your back and this is good so um, you're moving out of the week the universe have your back you're going to be victorious and successful success is coming in for a lot of people especially in work that is going to bring you a lot of money 
there's a lot of information that is going to come out in this week for you um, it's the week of Valentine's a week of Valentine's always reveal things that you were not aware of and this is what is going to happen a lot of you are going to find out that your partner has not been the most honest he has been playing the fields sorry that you received this message on bonnet times but you know if you are someone who is in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or scorpion this person has not been honest to you information is going to come out um, this person have been seen to other people so I am wishing you a lot of success with this happy Valentine's week until next week